Creating charts in InDesign usually requires opening other apps to get the job done. Well, in this tutorial, I'll show you a much easier way of using a font to create pie charts and line graphs directly in InDesign. Follow along and learn how to create text strings to formulate editable charts and graphs in just a few steps. Let's jump in and I'll show you how this works. Before we get started, you'll first want to download the Chartwell font. I've included a few variation examples for this tutorial and added the link to the full font download in the description below. Once you have the Chartwell font installed, you can move on to the next step. Alright, on my screen I have an annual report for a fictional company and on the right hand side I've left some space for pie charts and a line graph. I'm going to jump over to a different InDesign document where I have three text frames with text strings that will convert into the charts and line graph. Let's focus on the first text frame here. I'll click on it once and in the properties panel on the right hand side under character I'm going to type in Chartwell to access the Chartwell font. And in this case I want to convert that first text string into Chartwell pies. This will be the pie chart. So I'm going to click on that and you can see that the text has been formatted. It's now Chartwell Pies. I'm going to increase the size to 54 and now we have our point size and the Chartwell Pies font assigned to that first text frame. Now each figure in this string represents the piece of the pie that I want to format. And you'll see how this works in just a moment. But first I want to designate the color for each figure. So in this case, I'm going to double click to get back into that text frame and select the plus icon and the 20. And if I go to my swatches panel, I've created a grouped color swatch called chart colors and I'll expand that. And in this case, I want to make it the brightest blue. I'm going to select the second plus symbol and the second 20 in the text frame and I'll apply a medium blue color to both of those elements. So to this point, I have a brighter blue and a medium blue for my pie chart. I'll select the number 60 in the text string and apply a dark blue to complete the chart. Now I'm going to click the selection tool and I'll zoom in on the frame to show you how the Chartwell font works. Because this uses open type technology, I'm going to click on this O icon that you see here at the bottom of the text frame. And if I click this, I'll select discretionary ligatures and you'll see that'll convert the text string into the corresponding pie chart. If I uncheck it, it'll go back to the text. So I could toggle between the chart and the text if I needed it to update it. This is always live text. Now here's something important to note with the Chartwell font when it comes to resizing. If I click on that first text frame and I want to resize it, if I go back to open type and turn on discretionary ligatures, for example, and I click on it and I resize it because I want that pie chart to be a little bit bigger, if I click on the open type symbol again and turn off discretionary ligatures, you can see that the text has increased in size as well. So just know that when you're increasing the size of the pie chart, you're also increasing the size of the text. Instead, what I like to do is hold Option on a Mac that's Alt on Windows and drag another copy. This way, I can resize this version while keeping the original intact. Let's go ahead and create the second version. I'm going to click on the second text frame and we'll do the same thing. In characters in the properties panel, I'm going to type in Chartwell. And again, I'm going to choose Chartwell Pies. This will also be 54 point text size. And we'll do the same thing. I'll select the first plus icon and the number and make it the brightest blue. I'll do the same thing here plus icon and 20, make it the medium blue, and then I'll click 75 or select 75, and I'll choose the darkest blue. If I click on my selection tool, I can click on the open type symbol and turn on discretionary ligatures, and you can see I have my second pie chart here. I'll click on it again, hold option on a Mac, that's Alt on Windows, and I'll drag another copy. I can also double click the bottom right hand corner handle, to make the text frame snug around the pie chart. Now I have one more here and this will be a line chart. So in this case, I'm going to click on it once 
And in the properties panel, once again, I'll double click inside the character and the font picker and I'll type in Chartwell. Only this time, I'm going to choose Chartwell Bars Vertical. So I'll choose that. And once again, I'll make the point size 54 to remain consistent. If I click on the open type symbol and then choose discretionary ligatures, you'll see that the bar graph is set up. I'll uncheck it temporarily so I can edit my colors. And in this case, I wanna to toggle between two colors. So I'm going to double click, select plus and 17. I'll go bright blue. And then I'm going to alternate between the brightest blue and the darkest blue here in my swatches panel. So bright blue, I'll select 58. Dark blue, I'll select 71. Bright blue, this will be dark blue. 85 will be bright blue. And the last one here will be bright. And then I'll choose 51 and that will be dark. So again, if I click on my selection tool, click the open type symbol, turn on discretionary ligatures, you can see now I have my bar graph alternating between the bright blue and the dark blue. Again, I'll click on it once, hold option on a Mac, alt on windows and drag another copy. And then I'll just double click the bottom right hand corner of the frame so it's snug around the line graph. Now here's the thing, I can copy these over to my annual report project and they'll still be live text. However, if you want these to be graphic elements, you'll have to create them or convert them into outlines. Let me show you how to do that. If I zoom into this first example here, this first bar chart, I'm going to click on it once, go up to object, I'm sorry, go to type and choose create outlines. The shortcut for that is shift command on a Mac, shift control on Windows and O. If I scroll down, I could do the same thing to this chart. I'll hold shift command and the letter O to convert it to outlines. And I'll do it to the last one here. Click on the line graph, shift command and O. Now the cool thing with this is if I click on my direct selection tool, I can click on these segments and they're all editable too as graphic elements. So I can pull a piece out and you can see I can edit them individually. If you did this, tried to do this using the Chartwell font, you can't do that because that's still editable text. So this is personal preference. If you want to keep it live text, you can. However, if you're looking for a little more control with the color and resizing of your charts and graphs, converting the text to outlines may be your best bet. Next, I'll show you how to get these charts over to the annual report layout seamlessly. I'll select both of these pie charts and resize them together. Because they're graphic elements now, that makes it a little bit easier. So I'll just move these pie charts closer together and while holding shift and command on my keyboard, I'll increase them in size. I'll press Command C, that's Control C on Windows, to copy and go back to the annual report layout. I'll press W on my keyboard to turn my guides on and Command V to paste those charts in my layout. And now I can resize them here on the page. So if I want to resize them, select them both, Shift Command and just resize them, make them a little bit bigger. And I'll center them to the year there, just like so. I think that looks good. I can make them just a little bit bigger and then resize them accordingly. It's really important to have your smart guides on when you're doing this so you can have the proper spacing and distribution with the other content on the page. I think that is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go back to my charts file and I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just going to actually copy it over and resize it right on my angle report page. And if I zoom down a bit, command V to paste that in hold shift command and I like to drag it from the bottom and then I can center it and make it a little bit bigger just like so and then space and distribute them accordingly command zero to get an overview and if I press W on my keyboard you can see that's a quick and efficient way of creating charts using the Chartwell font converting them to outlines and bringing them over to another layout just like this example Hey, thanks for watching and I hope you can use the Chartwell font the next time you're creating simple charts and graphs in Adobe InDesign. 
If you found this video helpful, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more tutorials just like this one. If you'd like to learn more about Adobe InDesign, then check out this playlist. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.